Welcome. Today, let's discuss another very popular interview question, which is called、uh, "Find largest common subsequence between two strings." So let's write a solution for that in JavaScript. So the good question goes like this: So write a function that takes two strings, string one and string two, and then return the longest common subsequence of their two strings. The common is the keyword here, and the longest is another keyword. And、uh, by definition, subsequence means a string that、uh, you can、uh, obtain from by removing the certain characters from that original string without tampering the original、uh, relative order of the characters. So by that, I mean in these two strings, I can delete these three and. Delete these four, and we find the common longest subsequence、uh, of the two. That would be the BSE. So, in the end, if we take that、uh, two string as the input, the output should be BSE. All right. So, the solution would be first use a matrix plus a recursive tracer. So.、Um, I will explain briefly how this、uh, matrix works. So we put the larger string on top, and put the smaller string on the side, and、uh, we make a an array of array out of it, so that when we start our iteration from position one and one, row one and column one. We are comparing the index zero. Start comparing the index zero of the two elements, and、uh, we break the size string piece by piece, starting by first character, and we count the occurrences of that character, and、uh, then we start with z, and we use the occurrence count that we memorized. In the above step, and add upon it when necessary, so that uh, uh, we know at certain index, you know, of that string,、uh, where our count can be、uh, added. So that、um, this is basically how the matrix works. But so in the end of the、uh, iterations, our last element of the matrix will be. Uh, referring to the LCS, which is called、uh, longest common subsequence count. So we can then write the tracer start with this position, trace back this, to the place where the、uh, count is being added, trace back, then trace back, then hit the base case, print the result. All right. So this is our plan. Let's write the solution. LCS for short. String one, string two. Okay, need four parameters. And if statement to check which string is the longer one. Set the placeholder accordingly. Set the placeholder accordingly for launch property. Use the property we find to de define our matrix. Initialize our matrix. Array of arrays. Remember, array-like object. Map function. Initialize it with another array. Array object. Initialize with 
zero for every place in the matrix. First loss will be the row. Uh, number of rows that will be smaller loss plus one, and this will be larger loss plus one. To be sure, let's console dot log our matrix. Eight elements uh, on the weights, seven elements on the height, correct. Then we can start update our matrix by using a row and uh, calling uh, way. So We can actually use a fixed number here, but yeah, we let's just leave it there, you know, so it's cause it's more semantic. I mean, more easier to understand. That's the correct way to get a row array anyway. So in here, let's check the characters. Larger here at zero is equals to one, so and it used the column number, so column number minus one will be the correct index to the character, and uh, same thing works for the smaller string as well. It used the row number, so if these two equals to the same, update the matrix at this position with matrix. Okay, let's just uh, use the same thing here. So for example, starting here, if at this place the count is one LCS, at this place, according to you know, before D is one, at Z should be two. All right. Else we still need to update the matrix through, but this time we need to use the whatever uh, LCS we got from above or from left. By the if we we get the thing from above means that uh, it's about the character index, not the lines, the sequence. Uh, and uh, if we got it from the left, it means that at this row we have add our uh, account. So whatever it, which one is it, we can inherit the LCS at that position correctly. So matrix first on the left. So row stay put, calling minus one. Second on the above directional. So row should be up by one and column should be stay put. Okay, done. And uh, we just need to console a lot of our matrix again. Fingers crossed. Okay, we use the wrong parameters here. Let's try that again. All right, exactly the same as the matrix we built before. Great, so what's next thing to do is after we build the matrix and get the LCS count, start our tracing. So uh, let the update placeholder on the all side here. Cause why not? Make sure we put comma here, comma here, so we can write immediately invoke the function. Let's call it tracer. 
fixing two parameter row number and column number. And let's initialize the first layer. That would be our uh, row first. So row would be, uh, yeah, I think it would be the smaller, smaller lines and uh, the other one should be the larger ones. Just so happens they are equal, you know, there is a relation there. And uh, just to be sure, console.log matrix, okay. Three. Yeah, I think it's correct. So, mm, let's discuss the base case first. Oh, why did I delay that? Uh, call him equals to zero here. Some somewhere in here, I guess. Oh, yeah, here. Whatever the last recorder had. Return. Let's just use the statement statement here to be our new condition. Uh, so we can just uh, sit back, chill while we do the recursion. the case tracer should move on to uh, row on above okay and uh, yeah, I'll see if okay this is the place where the characters are the same for both string. The character is mapped. Therefore, we we push the result here. All right. After we push the result, we start back the tracing, and we passing the new row and new column number. Uh, I think this will do. Let's uh, console log the solution. Okay. Let's um, double check our solution. mistakes. That's not good. Okay, we pushed 321, which is also not good. Larger than column minus one. Okay, CAB, correct. So this time we got the correct answer. Thank God. But the 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 result is uh, reversed, so we need to reverse it back because we are using a array here. So return trace result dot reverse dot join by empty space. Okay, so if that's the case, we need to console dot log whatever that uh, we returned. BAC, okay, correct. So let's test it out with other three uh, real life examples by 
during the interview. Okay, first one. Expect this answer. Forgot to console log again. ABAD correct and JATB uh, correct and lastly correct so I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I took a long time to figure this out. Actually, uh, googled a lot, but the first time I I come across this recursive, I find this sequence. When I find sequence, I find a string. I find pointers. The first thing I think is actually linked list. So I tried many times to solve this with a linked list. I failed. So there's um, still a lot to be learned. Um, because I didn't know how to, you know, uh, get past the place where, you know, I want to, you know, just traverse a forward one node and uh, get the count there. So, so then I find this uh, dynamic programming matrix, which make a lot of sense. But uh, yeah, I think we just need more experience. I just need more experience before I can truly. Uh, know how when and how to you know apply these uh, algorithms to other real life problems yeah i hope you like it and uh thank you for watching have a good day